If you build WordPress websites and you use custom post types, you're gonna have posts associated with those. And then you're gonna have times where you'll delete that custom post type and unfortunately, all of those posts are just left in your database and you've got no simple way of getting rid of them. Until today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Custom Post Type Cleanup, a free plugin that does one job and does one job very well. Cleans up all those redundant posts that are associated with your custom post type before you've deleted it. So let's just jump over to the WordPress dashboard now and take a look at how this plugin works. So when you create custom post types and then create posts to associate with it, once you delete or disable that custom post type, the posts will stay behind unless you manually delete them. And custom post type cleanup is going to allow us to do just that. Clean up any sort of stray posts that may be left behind after you disable or delete a custom post type. Let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about. If we come over into the dashboard for WordPress, I've got CPT UI installed and I've created a locations custom post type. Now with that custom post type, I've created a couple of posts. So we take a look, you can see there's two posts inside there. So everything is set up as you'd normally expect when you're working with custom posts. Now, if I come in to the plugin section and I disable custom post type UI, so I deactivate it, this will then disable the custom post types. So no longer do they exist and that link through to those custom posts that we created, again, no longer exist, but the posts are still inside our database. So what we can do is we can come into the tool set and once we've installed custom post type cleaner, come and choose that option. And you can see now what it's done is it's already gone through and taken a look to find any stray posts that are no longer associated with any kind of post type. You can see it tells us we've got an unused post type called locations and in brackets we have two which is the number of posts that are or were originally associated with that custom post type. If we open that up, if we had additional ones, if we created multiple different custom post types and disabled them or deleted them, you'd see a lot more entries inside this section. We can also choose the number of posts to delete and then we can quickly just press the delete post and that will go through and remove all of them. However, let's just say you don't know if those posts are something you want to delete. You've taken away the custom post type, but you may have some posts that you want to reassociate with something else. What we can do is we can use this re-register unused custom post types. This will, each time we use it, give us a 10 minute window to take a look at those custom posts that are no longer associated. So we click on that. You can see it tells us the following unused custom post types are registered by this plugin, locations. So we click on there, that will take us over and we can now see there's the two posts that we had. And if we want to, we could come in and we could do whatever we wanted to do with those, move them, reassociate them, you know, kind of whatever you want to do there. So it's a really simple way of doing that. We can stop registering them once we've done everything we want. We're happy with those posts to be deleted. So we say stop registering this now. That will then take us back into this. And we can say stop registering unused custom post types now. And that will give us the ability to jump back and then clean up our database of those unlinked post types. So it's a really simple plugin. It has one simple job to do, but if you are working with custom post types or you have a client site and you don't want to sort of get rid of everything, these are things that can be left behind that other tools may not pick up on and allow you to remove. So I think it's a really cool little plugin. It's completely free, just does one simple job and does it well. So what we're gonna to do to finish this and wrap it up is click on delete posts. We'll say, are you sure you want to delete those? I'll say, okay, they've now been deleted. And to check that, if we come back over into our plugins and we'll go to install plugins and we'll reactivate the custom post type UI, that would then create the location section. If we come into all locations, you can see those posts are in fact deleted. So we could start with a clean slate again. So really useful little plugin. And if you work with custom post times a lot and you're sort of testing things out, adjusting things, just generally having a, a play about with how it all works, this is kind of useful that allows you to get rid of all that left behind junk data. That's the plugin. Very simple, one job, one job very, very well. And the best part is it just saves you a ton of time if this scenario arises for you. What do you think of it? Have you found other tools that you think are invaluable for making sure that when you remove things from a website, just cleans everything up and just make sure your database and all those kinds of things are nice and clean after removal? If you have, let me know in the comment section below. Drop some links in the, the kind of tools you've been using so I can check them out. 
As always, all the applicable links for everything I've covered in this video are in the description below. My name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.